The Maida of the moving in I'm proud of ourselves. Who meet her like, hi, homie, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. But well, you're looking so calm, chill, and stunning as always. Thank you. Yes, can you run us through what the movie Queen Latifah is about? Queen Latifah is a movie that got across, you know, the millennia, the Gen Z. It's a movie that wants to reveal like a lot of secrets. It has love, life, a lot of things. And it's a movie almost everyone can relate to it, both the young and the old. It's, well, Latifah is a movement, not just a movie. It's, uh, it has come to stay by the grace of God. And I'm so intentional about this project, okay. you know. So what, what was it, what's the drive that gave you the mind you know, to come up with this particular movie and the title itself? Why the title Queen Latifah? Okay, there was the Queen Latifah we ran on the YouTube. I did it about five years ago, but I saw that I didn't tell the story as much as I would love to. Yeah, to tell it. So I've been on it ever since over five years trying to put up the story together. So, yeah, it's a long time actually. So, um, by the grace of God, I have a beautiful team around me to help me bring uh, this dream to come true, and most especially the CEO of uh, Cinemax and the person of his now, Gaja, were able to bring this to life. Okay, so can you tell us at least two things? That we should be expecting from this movie. Um, expect entertainment, unlimited. Expect intense drama. Expect of first comedy. Just name it. Thank you so very much. And have an amazing day. Man. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Getting the story from Kenny Joseph. It's my story, but the, the writer, I give credit to him. You know, when you want to get the best of writers, just allow them. It took me almost more than a year to have the script. So it's not something we just jumped up uh, in months. It's something we're so intentional about, like I keep saying to people, and it started, you know, for a while. And we are here, we are here, and I'm glad we are here. Thank you. Uh, we have Nova Cinemas, we have Genesis, we have Film House, Silver Bed, and Ebony Life, and every other cinema here today. We have the cast and crew. What? I said you have to mention them, but THC is here. Should I bring the mic? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to sell the film. Oh, I I didn't introduce myself. So my name is Kaka, and I am your host for today, and I'm also super excited to be um, the PR consultant for Queen Latifah. And we have so much more in store. Like the next two months, I don't think anything is going to top what we have in store for you guys. But I'm going to call the Queen. Woo! Please come and tell us <laughs> about the movie. <laughs> I am elated. First of all, this is a very sensitive and a very special moment in my life. And I want to give all glory to the Almighty God. And in the person of um, the CEO of Cinemax, Mr. Okia Jai. It's a thing to share a dream. It's another thing to see someone buying it. And to all the beautiful cast, the team, that have worked with me on this project. I don't even know, I'm not even doing votes of things. I'm supposed to sell the movie, but already I'm giving a vote of things. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much. My director, Captain Dexy, my producer, Judith Audu, my coordinator, May Baker, the whole team of Queen Latifah, the whole team of Cinemax, most especially Oyeka. Thank you. Thank you for being a sister, I love you. Thank you so much, everyone, to my friends and family that are here. You are about to see entertainment, Unlimited, unforced, oh, no. comedy, intense drama. Mm. I have explored YouTube, I'm exploring YouTube. This is my first, I mean, this is my cinema film debut. And uh, you will not be disappointed. So that was one thing. And I'm super glad you did that because this is your first cinema debut. And um, telling the story, again, you have to be very diversified and intentional in things. Um, so I'm really going to start from the director of the movie because that also required me to direct people in different ways. 
Um, yes, yeah, so please tell us about how that worked for you and the story. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, and thank you for coming to experience Queen and Imagine. And um, this, the simple logic of the story is um, someone who can, you know, um, rise up to whatever she can imagine in her world or in her dream, regardless of her own reality. And I think that's what um, every audience can connect to. We all have aspirations, we all have goals, we all have dreams. And to pull this magnitude of story, you need a diverse range of you know characters and audience. And that's what um, Queen Latifah has you know, successfully displayed. Round of and then I'll go to Kule, um, the, the certified Nova Boy at this point. Explore, because um, it's not what you see every time, but it's what you see. Because, I mean, we live in Lagos where it's a uh, thing to make it most of the time. Um, have I encountered any in Latin America? Yeah, so you go to a club sometimes and you see people that just kind of stay. You can see the effort they make to step up their game. And you have to applaud it or play along with them. Um, Hers is just outrageously ridiculous because like the director said, her reality is, and, and her dreams are so high. But then again, if there's anything I picked up from this project, it is, to, is the realization that there is always a gift, even in these people. You know, in the Queen Latifas out there, there's something that they can enhance or develop that can open the doors that you really want. So as a lover boy, I enjoyed playing this, basically. <laughs> this is a huge round of applause for you. Um, so this is for Queen Latifah. As a Yoruba girl, we've often said I doubt if you read scripts. Um, it has to be for the end, of course. Um, but this is also something different. Um, I can tell that you pushed yourself far and wide um, for this project. How did you follow the script? Did you write the script? <laughs> and how, how did we arrive at this uh, magic? Thank you. How will you not follow a script when you have uh, the likes of Captain Dexy, the likes of, you know, Judith Aldo? It's pure scripted, like purely scripted. And <laughs> I'm going to give this kudos to the writer, Kane Day Joseph. You did a great work. <laughs> Um, what's that slang again? Uh, mm. um, give it to me. <laughs> give it a <laughs> like. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Um, so Judith, um, being a producer, you, you're technically the highest body and soul of the movie. Um, in terms of location, because then we have two different worlds apart. In terms of location, in terms of just getting things together, because we know how Lagos can be. Again, like you're filming in two different worlds. And how did that come into play? Like, what was the challenges you faced to be able to produce this? Thank you so much. Um, I would love to say thank you to everyone for coming out today. Um, good afternoon. And congratulations to the team. Filming, I think while I'm laughing, I guess next day we'll also be laughing, everybody will be laughing, it will be the ghetto. Um, the ghetto was a hustle, it was madness um, filming there. Imagine taking um, Adit Imeji Latif, taking Barash Shaggy, taking um, Officer Woz, taking Kiki, taking Wumi Toriola, taking Auntie Fiti Abalugun, taking Madame Saji, taking Kuni Remy, taking them to the ghetto. It was madness filming. You know, sometimes we had to sneak them out of the ghetto, you know, and all that stuff. So for me, that was really the madness of it. But getting the location and every other thing, because we were very precise with what we wanted. We knew the kind of world we wanted to create. We knew the kind of film we wanted to make. So we're very particular with the location scouts, what we wanted. Um, I think when we went for the first scouting, we already got everything we wanted because it was, they knew what we wanted and then they got us what we wanted. And I think one of the most important thing for the film was also getting the right team that understood the vision you know, that um, Mumito Riola and Opejai, you know, had in mind. And it was the onion of us to bring that team together that also understood the vision and would take it and run with us. And that was what we did. And I think that was the, the magic, you know, that we had. And that magic one that we had that brought together this. It's 
a round of applause for her. Because that's so much work and so much planning, literally, because you also have to plan. Um, and back to you. Why, was this story, why is this story important to tell? And also tell it the way you are told it. Because you're like, listen, there are things like that, but like this is totally different. And also the concept of humor. Um, because of the Nigerians, everybody, it's not the whole world now is dealing with one thing or the other. Humor is very important. Um, why was this story important for you to tell? And why was it important for you to tell this way? Okay, like I said earlier, I said we had a YouTube version of it, but I felt I could tell it as much as I would have loved to. And coming to have people who buy into the, who bought into my idea, it was a greater one. I had to tell it because it's a story that cuts across, you know, like uh, Captain Dexter said, from grass to whatever, not even grace now. I mean, whatever um, reality was in your mind. And Kunle Remy already said it. So I just needed to expatiate. I needed to go further than the um, the light slides. You know, it just had something big in it. It's not just the common old lies you. It's just an imagination versus reality. So I just needed to tell you more. Yeah. Thank you, and um, I'm sure we already have more insights of what the movie is about. And yeah, so we can, please a round of applause for them, please. Yeah, so we can now enjoy the trailer of Queen Latifah. This, I think, is the film of the year, uh, potentially. I have another film, Shabbat. This one is for today. <laughs> today no, you've already accused me of favoritism. But on a serious note, we thoroughly enjoyed the entire process. Wumi was amazing. She came with the story, the idea, and we just saw an opportunity to bring something special to life. I think that these are the kind of stories that you know we all, you know, these are the kind of stories that we all want to see in cinema. It's going to be engaging. It's a movement. Um, so September 27 is the date. Um, so everyone, please tell your friends, tell your family. Cinemas, we want 10 shows per day, every, <laughs> every day, for the first four weeks. Uh, that's what we want. Um, and yeah, we think that, um, we, we think we've made, we're really proud of it. It's not one of those films that I'm struggling to sell, but I'm really, really proud of this film. And I think you will as well when you see it. So thank you very much. They are both very stubborn, so I played them Pinky's mother. So how is it like playing Pinky's mother and having Queen Latifah as a baby at the same time? You can imagine you playing with um, me. Who is this very hilarious actor that you want to play with her? She needs to be out of your box. And obviously I'm not a comedian. We plays a comedian role, plays a serious role together with it, and mixing it together. So we play with her, you have to be very serious actor. So I went there with all my events. There's no other word to use for that screen that if I see. This movie is educative, it's interesting, it teaches so much. It's not just for the adults, it's for kids. So you watch and learn some of those movies, just for, not just for them to watch and laugh, you watch, laugh, and learn something about morals, about the country, about so many things. So I'm telling you, and you're also going to laugh. Okay, finally, can you tell us three things that we should be expecting from the Queen Latifah? Um, we're going to be expecting laughter, <laughs> enjoyment, and um, everything full. My result was everything. Thank you very much. Aka Captain Dexy, and I am the director of Queen Latifah. Um, when I got the script for Queen Latifah, I was super excited. Um, immediately reading the script, I could see the scale and you know the magnitude of the story. And um, the only thing that was in my mind was 
how we were able, how we are going to be able to do justice to what I have just read. Um, me and um, Penny came up with this beautiful story, and um, like when the production team was assembled, um, I was super excited because I saw the people we were going to be working with, and I knew they were people that knew what they were doing and we could achieve it. And that's how we rocked it. That's how we rocked it. Oh, beyond having, um, you know, great um, talent to play a character, you also want to have people that can actually deliver excellently. Um, there are great actors that have um, represented a character in very poor ways all over the world. So um, we had a sit-down conversation on the potential people that could play each character and we narrowed down to everybody playing the character. So beyond the fact that they are all stars, they are actually great talents and they fit into the character they all play.